Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JJ Gaming and welcome back to yet another new king, Clement of the Iron Throne. Uh, come on, Clement. Yeah, here we go. He's a content, shy, but still wrathful and rude man. I think he's <laughs> he's kind of like an uh, an internet asshole, I guess. <laughs> wrathful and rude, but also content and shy. Yeah, he, the only thing he's not is fat, I guess, but he does have the double chin. All right. Um, yes, we, uh, last episode, our poor uncle, well, I mean, our uncle, at least, Stannis, died, offered up as a sacrifice to Mogoth, Mogoths, Mogoths, <laughs> TH sound, guys, it's difficult for Dutch people, uh, the, was, uh, was offered up as a sacrifice to Mogoths gods, and I think, um, Clement is a bit traumatized by that, so he's not going to be leading any armies anytime soon, but there is a war going on, so, uh, we should at least deal with that. Uh, the war is a drowned god uprising up here. Oh, let's go after that. Somebody wants to marry me. Edric Baratheon wants to marry my kinswoman Amiana. Oh, this is my... Uh, right, right, right. This is uh, Stannis' uh, former uh, former wife. Yeah, yeah, I, I recall. Uh, is Clement married? He is married. Okay, all right. That is, that is fine. Okay, my wife is actually not that bad. Um... Are we going to go with scholarship or maybe seduction? I kind of want to seduce my wife, right? Okay, our scholarship is fine, I suppose. Okay, uh, let's put uh, some new people in charge of the Iron Throne. Uh, they're all temporary, right? So it doesn't really matter who. Not, not that much anyway. Uh, no, you cannot marry Amiana Baratheon. We're probably going to do something else with her at some point. Uh, but first, let's raise our army, if we haven't already. We haven't, okay. Everybody, please move to King's Landing. Uh, or somewhere else. Uh, yeah, no, King's Landing is fine. <coughs> there is your Queen Sylvina. Ah, she is, she is here. She, uh, she rides a dragon. She is in command of this army. That makes sense, I think. I think Sylvina is going to be playing a, a prominent role. Oh, we have another dragon rider here. Falina. Let's put her here. And then we have... Uh, I think she rides Drogon, right? Yeah. And then let's put LR Proud 3 here. Let's uh, also gather up our fleets. Rain House. I don't know, come on. King's Landing. There's your Queen Sophina. Uh, Baylor, my half brother. Baylor Baratheon. All right. Baylor is a nice name. So my, uh, my mother is still ah, 41. She's still having kids, huh? Good going, Mom. My mother, the Dragon Rider. Let's see if she, uh, she can help us beat these. Uh, these, uh, these, these. Uh, no, no. I want my mom, my mom, my mom in charge. Oh, yeah, she, she is. Yeah. Don't know why that switched. I don't think I put that on. Felina, you can be, uh, you can be in the army though. There's a thirty thousand army, thirty thousand strong army going to the Iron Islands, and carrying, uh, carrying two dragon riders. <laughs> don't know why they insist on uh, moving with the fleet. Oh, maybe they're scouting ahead, right? Who knows? All right. Uh, I think we should be able to beat this war fairly easily. Your dragon horse seems to have an insatiable appetite for meat and prey. She sometimes seems to spend all day hunting and devouring the livestock of the area. No doubt she will eventually grow large and fat. Uh, okay, I don't want my horse to go hungry. Ravenous. Size growth uh, times 1.25. Personal coverage go minus 30. Starve, starve it of food to teach it a lesson. Might get, might make a make it wrathful, might make it uh, shy. Cannot usually be directly found in the wild. Hmm. We're gonna starve it of food. We are wrathful. I don't want my horse to go hungry. I mean, we don't care about really about the small folk. I think. Oh, actually, we're we're not cruel, right? I should uh, I should be we're charitable actually. So we, we are more on the just side of things. We're just very rude. We, we have sort of a heart of gold, but we are, we're otherwise a very unlikable person. But we aren't unjust. Uh, the Loretti. Okay, let's uh, march our troops down here. My mom can uh, attack these guys with uh, with her dragon. That sounds like a plan. And then afterwards we can get uh, crowned. I was hearing petitions in the throne room of the Red Keep. A furious rage took hold of me. Amidst my anger and loud shouting, I accidentally cut myself on the iron throne. Oh. Okay, 1% chance of dying. So surely we won't die. What happened? 
Nothing. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Was cut on the Iron Throne. Vessel opinion minus five. Okay. I'm pleased with it after a period of shrewd, of peace and shrewd management. The province of Dragonstone is doing very well. Okay, Dragonstone prospers. We might move our capital to uh, to Dragonstone again. To have our uh, to have our uh, our dragon uh, grow up there in a, in a good environment. Uh, very well. Let me think. Deny this guy wants to have the Kingdom of the Stormlands. Nope. Forget about that. Yeah, let's just go. We have two dragons, right? We should be fine. Let's attack this guy. Yeah, we're easily beating him. My mom is uh, riding a dragon, <laughs> burning all these uh, these ironborn. Hundred percent great. All right. So I think that's probably yeah. National revolt with minus five friends. So that is actually quite useful. So that's good. Enforce demands. My man, you are a drowned god. You have been drowned. You have seen the halls of the drowned god. Um, visit chambers. <laughs> um, call for trial, I guess. We will do that. First, let's wait for the... Uh, yeah, let him rot. Let's wait for the uh, the guys to get back under us. The vessels. So that we can lower our troops without losing any anybody. Oh, shit. We lost a lot of boats anyway. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. It's fine. War's ended. Uh, do you wish to reappoint the old council? Yes. In fact, uh, we're going to have a second look at this council. And I think we can probably replace some guys with uh, with uh, with people who are uh, better to keep as friends. Ah, uh, no, actually, I think we're pretty much fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Prince Karl the Generous. Um, okay. Uh, over vessel limit. That should solve itself at some point. I think we should give away these Stormlands. Is there any, anybody who can, whom we can give it away to? Prince Lothar, maybe? This is his guardian. Oh, he's good. Lord Lester Swigert of Galmart. We can give it to Prince Lothar. Yeah, why not? High Lordship of Storm's End. Uh, High Lordship of Shipbreakers Bay. And then we will give you the Kingdom of the Stormlands. There you go. Um, my queen, my wife, Marcella Westerling has died. And you are humbly invited to the funeral, says Edric. Okay, this is my... Uh, my aunt, Marcella Big Shell. <laughs> what a name. A Big Shell. <laughs> yeah, because she has a shell as a shield, man. <laughs> That's pretty cruel. Okay, Edric, sure. We will attend the funeral of our uh, great aunt, I think. Yeah, our great aunt, Lord Clement. You have defeated your first war. The funeral, so it is done. Marcella uh, died bedridden and was a knight of the highest honor. Was she a knight, really? She wasn't. <laughs> Maybe that's her prestige rating or something. What can we do? Organize a coronation ceremony. Yeah, let's let's wait a little while. Let's wait a little while for uh, our uncle to uh, to win his war, right? I'll give you some coin. Nope. <laughs> I don't care who rules the uh, these step stones, man. Oh yeah, we we were gonna ma move our capital to uh, to Dragonstone again. Yeah, let, let let's do it. We want our we want our dragon to grow up uh, grow up well, right? Where is he? Here he is, Oris. Ravenous beast. Ugly. <laughs> Locked in Dragon Pit, or maybe not anymore now, right? Or is he? Am I still in King's Landing? No, Dragonstone. So this should go away, I guess, at some point. I guess Mont needs to take over or something. Because he's no longer locked in the Dragon Pit, right? He's on Dragonstone now. At least he should be. Are you in Dragonstone? Uh, yeah, he is. Okay. So this should hopefully go away at some point. Uh, Ormond Brethian, uh, your brother Lothar, Humphrey of the Parrots can protect him, I guess. Or Zachary Cox, yeah, that's Zachary Cox. That is fine. My uh, my brother can be protected. Is he my heir as well? I think so, right? Yeah. Okay, good luck with that. And we are gay. I <laughs> hope we are able to get a to, to get a kid. Ouch. I think maybe we'll, we should cancel the Paragon of Virtue ambition. Or are we are we close to it now? Not at all. <laughs> If you all will switch up to have a son, we might switch our uh, our our ambition. Ah, we cannot do that yet. Yeah, we, I want to switch it to seduction and seduce our wife. That seems like a good idea. Okay, we have a uh, winter. Winter is coming. Um, oh, winter is coming to an end. Okay, that was uh, that was quick. Okay, let's 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 hold the coronation anyway. I'm not going to wait for my uncle to fight this war. Organize course coronation ceremony. Only High Septon is fit to crown me. Yes, 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 yes. Marvelous, thank you. Extravagant ceremony. Only a few more days remain before I'm crowned king before the gods and all my subjects. My court is filling with distinguished guests. Both, both vessels and foreign dignitaries come to bear witness. 
this fundamental moment of my rent. Such a life ceremony is a rare spectacle to behold, even amongst royalty. It will never be soon enough. Could we be friends? I ask Lord Justin. Maybe he will change his mind. He doesn't want to be my friend. Nobody wants to be my friend. I think everybody hates me. Yeah, most people hate me. <laughs> minus 100. That's a bit strong, I think. Besides, the Kingdom of Valyria is minus 20 for all of them. Huh? Okay. Oh, well. Uh, this morning, a curious visitor came to my court. A wandering scholar who, tra scholar who travels to Dragonstone after hearing news of my upcoming ceremonies. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, okay, Lord Mar Morgan of Old Town has accepted the peace offer, so my uncle should come back under me. Yes. Now winter has come to an end. Uh, do I need to? Okay, here we go. Yeah. I knew before I stepped on the 23rd. I feel like this number is... Oh, the 33rd. Yeah, okay, so this is the... I think one of uh, one of our predecessors was, predecessors was crowned by the 23rd. But this is the th 33rd, so he is uh, he's a lot later. I can check, actually. The 23rd was... Yeah, 8301. So that was probably the one who crowned King Renly. Um, okay, I'm finally and truly king. Nice. Okay, so we were crowned. That's good. Clement is somewhat secure in his seat. And he has almost survived the uh, the infamous 19th year of his reign. Which uh, killed his uh, his two predecessors. Uh, has declared uh, Lord Paramount Quentin. The arrogant has declared Lord Paramount Quentin's claim on Stony set. On Lord Paramount Tyler of the Trident. Claim on Tony set. Uh, where is that? Where is Tony set? Oh, here it is. I think that is just uh, Riverlander, right? Yeah. Quentin, don't do that. Please stop your war. You'll be branded a traitor. Um, are we gonna uh, gonna imprison him now? <laughs> it's fine, I guess. <laughs> he is a traitor, though. We might want to try to execute him. We still want the Westerlings in charge of the, the Western lands. I think that is that is nice. Ah, Lord Dennis. He's a dishonorable, cruel man. Hmm, this guy has... Oh, blind from age. I thought he had the green side or something. We could try to kill this guy. Yeah, we have quite a high, high plotting chance. Why not? Ah, my Coco Spiriter has hired someone to saw through the supports of the railing on the balcony. Lord Paramount Quentin is known to frequent. Look out below. We're gonna kill him. <laughs> we don't want to uh, to imprison him and risk war, but we uh, we are willing to kill him. Come on then, Gra gravity can be a cruel mistress. <laughs> we killed him, Quentin the arrogant. I think he was the son of yeah Gregor. This is the guy who ended the war against the Neris uh, such a long time ago. Is it? No, no, no. That was that was his dad. The Westerlings have been in charge of the Western lands for quite a while, huh? Yeah. About 60-ish years. We must select the Warden of the West. It must fall to the Lord of the West. Can we ask him again uh, to stop his war? Probably, right? Yep, he is stopping. Great. Nice. That was uh, that was solved easily. Tully must be happy. Tyler Tully. Yeah, protecting me from an enemy. Okay, that's uh, that's nice. Plus 50 with uh, one of the more powerful uh, rulers of the uh, Iron Throne. Oh, that's good. That's some good, uh, some good loot, some good, uh, some good diplomacy. Karstarks are still in charge here, Timothy. What else do we have? We have, of course, the Lannisters nowadays in charge of the. Oh, the Warden of the South, Edric Bretton. That now he's still here. Fifty-nine years old, though. Lack of funds, Uncle. I can give you some money, I guess. You have quite a bit. And you deserve some. Here you go. Hope you enjoy that money. You can hopefully repay your loan now. He is respected. Yeah, this guy has been a pretty good, uh, pretty good ruler. He's uh, he, he was our regent for a while. I think he's still our designated regent. No, no, no. My 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 mother is my de designated regent. She is pretty great, man. I'm uh, I'm a bit sad that we could we couldn't uh, we, we didn't get to play as her. And we can still revoke the kingdom of the Vale if you want, and give it to our other brother, maybe a one year old brother. <laughs> Should we? Um, no, no, we're not gonna. We're not going to change his guardian. <laughs> we are pretty terrible. Uh, outstanding. Okay, a great celebration. Which earned us a bit of money. My great-grandmother, Loressa Gargalan, died. <laughs> yeah, she's over in Martelson. She finally died. Eh? Age 80, 84. She was the, the, the mother of King Robert II of the Iron Throne. Was succeeded by Oros. Was succeeded by 
Robert, Stannis, and then me. So she, she's she been uh, been through a lot of kings, and she finally uh, she finally died. Marjorie Tyrell died, though, quite a while ago, in fact. Um, I write on behalf of the Iron Bank. I don't care. Are the Tyrells still alive, actually? Um, we can have a look at that, I guess. Um, Willis, Eustace, Bioni. Oh, this is our... Uh, our branch, yeah, there's, there's not that many left, actually, at least not from the main line. Uh, should we hold a tourney immediately? Could do that. We could uh, at least ask some of our courtiers to leave our court. Maybe find luck elsewhere. Face the dragon. He's not already the owner of a dragon. Is there a dragon in the dragon stone? I guess so. Uh, commendable initiative. This guy should can give up his one of his titles. Where are you? Why are you even up there? Uh, Lord I oh, he's fighting in a revolt. No, I will have no part in this scheme. Let the Northmen handle their own affairs. That's what uh, King Clement says. So King Clement is going to be a bit more... Uh, more of a wuss. <laughs> he's pretty scared of, uh, of dying young. But he did he did make it uh, past 19 at least. So that's that's more than can be said for his, uh, his family. Can we join a society though? I kind of want to wanna join the Citadel. I guess, I guess we can't. Uh, now we need one of the uh, the, the many traits. Uh, we could build an observatory, though. I saw this. We can do that. I can't wait. We could also go... No, no, we're not going to go on a tour. <laughs> that killed us uh, last time. By knighthood. Compose a book. Choose a topic worthy of discussing. We might do that later. Let's uh, let's build the observatory first. We might become a bit scholarly. Why not? I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty shy guy, so I, I guess Clement would be a bit bookish. Uh, bring me the greatest knight in all the realm. Sir Reynard Truthle. Truth, Truth Beetle? Truthle B, I was going to say. He is great, though. Step forward. Okay, he wants to join. Great. Truth Beetle. All right. Uh, Viserion has been tamed again. Okay. Nice. Good for this Good for this man. This 38-year-old uh, associate Valerian man. Um, which dragons are... Oh, we can just uh, we can just look in the decision menu, right? Uh, show me the dragons or something. Uh, show me the dragons. My wife Marie is pregnant. Ah, great. Show me the dragons, please. Come on. Here, here they are. Okay. Untamed dragons. No, we have two wild dragons. Jedrian, located in Dragonstone, and Ariax, located in the Airy. Okay, and the rest are uh, are ridden by uh, by people. Mm, my, oh yeah, one Brethian, two Brethian, three Bre Okay, three three. Th there's there's three Brethian dragon riders. There's two quite minor ones. And then there's a bunch uh, bunch of minor nobles. Okay. All right. Well, we have our own dragon, right? So we, we, we're, we're fine. Uh, it's not really a great dragon, but it's fine, I guess. But Jamie of the Vale has inherited something. Okay. We can marry you off. Oh, no, we don't have any... Uh, still don't have any... Any female uh, family members. The Battle of Thorn Square. That's... Uh, it was in one of the earlier episodes we fought a big battle there. The big revolt in the north. Like I, I think it was against like Bruce Bolton. Is the, uh, the, the wildlings are still not uniting it seems, but I mean the ice rivers are getting pretty strong. They might uh, be able to, uh, to unite the, uh, the wildlings. Should we go for a further, further conquest? No, no, no. I always, I want to do risky stuff with Clement, but Clement is not a risky guy. We're just gonna, we're just gonna be Relatively quiet, uh, quiet period, I think. I'll give you command of an army. This guy, the Hammer of the Dornish, a wandering knight. Starts my court, one in by the tales of virtue and bravery surrounding my family name. He claims to have fo traveled far and wide and searching for a leech worth following. Okay, we can give you a, a command or we can say fantastic. I don't know, we will, we will of course make you commander, yeah. You're great. Look at this guy. Formidable fighter, cavalry leader, holy warrior, defender. Uh, siege leader, flanker, is great. Winter has come to an end. Nice. There's a lot of sieges going on. What what is this? Our Miranese liberation, li Miranese liberation fort, really? 15k troops. Should pay attention to that actually. So that is actually quite strong, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, we might as well send an army over there, right? Let's raise our boats. Let's uh, let's let's uh, let's ask some vessels to help us. These guys, these guys. This should be enough. 
Everybody, please get over here. We're gonna crush a revolt. Dangerous faction in independence. Oof. Stepstones. Hmm. This is all SOC guys, right? Or Iron Islands. Oh dear. Are they gonna? Are they going to uh, overthrow the monarchy of New Valeria? And the Iron Islands, I would like to keep. All the other stuff, I guess we could lose. <laughs> Um, so maybe we can marry this guy. Oh, yes, yes, some eligible daughters, actually. Prince betrothal between you and my son, my brother, Prince Baylor. Yeah. That might give me a non aggression pact. Yeah. That would be useful. Then he can mo move out of that faction. That sounds like a plan. I've decided to accept your suggestion. Will you move out of the faction then? I think he will. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So then we have. Only the SOC guys who are asking for independence, but I cannot really blame them for that. <laughs> I mean, uh, they want to... Uh, I wonder what strange things they will discover. Okay, we're studying the stars. Nice. Maybe you make a good point. Mm, that's... Yeah, sure. I don't care about this guy. Uh, I'll give you some coins. Says Alona Tyrell wants to step in against Edric Brett. You know. <laughs> what did you think, man? I'm not going to do that. 40,000 troops have been united. Okay, we will put our Dragon Rider mom in charge and move on Marine. Because they are actually doing pretty well and I didn't really pay attention to it. But uh, now that these Dragon Riders are coming, we should be fine. Let's crush the Mar Marinese revolt. You make a good point. Says uh, Nakoto to Stone. No, it's fine. It's fine. The Yerazan Pyramid is under siege, but uh, my mom is coming to rescue. Where is she? Gulf of Volantis? Okay, yeah. Nope. We have plenty, plenty of coaches already. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Stop asking me for money, guys. Not what we want what, what we, what we to do. Andrew, Andrew Baratheon. He's a dwarf. Andrew is a terrible name. Are you a random ancestor? Morton, Rogar, Cathan, Oberyn, Oris, Raymond, Ronnet, Robert. We could go for a Renly, I guess. We haven't had one of those in a while. Renly. Renly Baratheon. I have a son. Great. He's a dwarf, though. But uh, I'm also a dwarf, so that's fine. Um, I have five children. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> we can switch, I guess, to seduction now. Yeah, let's try to seduce our wife. Seduce Mary. Mary is desirable. Ah, come on, man. Because we're gay, we cannot uh, seduce our wife. I think we've had this problem before. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe with Renly. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're going to seduce men then. <laughs> I guess that's fine as well. I was hoping to get a kid, but... Uh, and you lost, my man. You very much lost that. Hope you're proud of yourself. We are going to execute you. As you to the Night's Watch. Bye bye. <laughs> I will not tolerate this offense. What happened? Mr. Radian has sent his sick offense to torment me once more, spreading vile rumors about me. Everybody at court is whispering as, uh, uh, about how much of a loner I am, claiming that my insecurity around other people is di dictated by fear and mistrust. I will not tolerate this offense. I can challenge this guy to a duel. No, he will kill me. <laughs> how dare he? Can we imprison him? No. I guess not. Uh, this guy is preaching false religion. Threaten with exposure unless he stays out of all factions. That sounds reasonable. Uh, this one, the skewer looks a little bit sweet. Uh, the black one is magnificent. The only suitable match for my wife. He doesn't fall in love with me, yeah? I think that's a bit, bit, bit sad. I mean, I could be bisexual, right? I don't know. We'll have to regret this. Let's send her some money as well. Let's just... Uh, Oh yeah, uh, what I did want to do was check out where the Valyrian Blades are. See if there's any that we can pick up uh, easily. Uh, we have a Darkened Frostfang, still holds Longclaw. What is the best one that's, that's on here? I guess Dawn, right? Not a Valyrian Steel Sword, by the way. <laughs> but uh, we have a Valyrian Steel Eric, held by Lord Master and someone. Um, Lord Paramount Jamie Lannister of the Vale, Will's Lawgiver. Let's go after Longclaw. Darkened Frostfang. Let's see where uh, where he is. Darkened. There must there cannot be that many uh, that many of them, right? 
There he is. Dark and Frostfang. Charity work is proceeding well. Uh, call for corpses at once. Um, we're gonna uh, try to kidnap this guy. 54%. Okay, that's not that much. We might not succeed, actually. Might as well try, though. Darkened Frostfang. Willow wants to join us. Okay, quite a few people want to join me. We might be able to uh, pull this off yet. Tilly, Handmaiden. We have Billy. We have Thom. Uh, that's it, I think. I think, yeah. We'll order them to... No, I don't care. Let's see if we can uh, we can uh, kidnap this guy. That might be necessary. Uh, Squish is to leave court. I guess this will happen by itself, right? Dark and Frostfang. We, uh, we would like your sword. I don't know if we'll even be able to, to grab it. I think you need to be sort of cruel for that. Otherwise you cannot just grab a Valyrian steel sword. So it's, it's too too big of a... Of a slide on someone's honor, I guess. Uh, but Paramount Edric the Hideous wants to wants to be independent. Come on, man. We don't want that. Can we marry like your oh this this guy my your your fuss away really? Is this uh, is he on on their elective? No, primogeniture. Why is this guy inheriting then? Doesn't make sense. Damon Fossaway or Lan Baratheon? Is that um, no? Oh, this guy's in a Night's nice Watch. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Who is Damon Fossaway then? One of my family members? Liza Baratheon. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, that's her. It's, it's his dead daughter. Okay. I see. I see how it is. So what, hap what happens if we kill Damon Fossaway? Will, will we inherit the Reach again? Um. Let's check that. Who is next in line after the oh, Olena, Olena Baratheon and then Herrick Baratheon and a bunch of Car Starks? Okay, well, let's see. Um, oh, all right, Raine Mira Roviktar has died, causing a dragon to establish its lair in Dragonstone. Okay, this is a bit of a smaller dragon, gold scales kit, fine by me. Uh, Travelers bring with a fire and blood. Cast a okay, she, she tamed the dragon again. Alright. Ah, finally an opportunity to abduct Darkened Frostfang has arisen. One of the captain's personal guards has proven amenable to bribery, allowing, the, for, the opportunity to, bleh, allowing for the opportunity to take him while he sleeps. Yes, so we'll proceed with the plan. Only 29% chance that we succeed, but let's try it anyway. We'll probably not succeed. Uh, oh, no, succeeded. Great. Now he dies quietly. Put him in the dungeon. I will decide later. Yeah, that one. We want to grab his sword. Seize valuable artifact. Long claw. Uh, okay, we cannot. Long claw is stolen. Ancestral claim. Heirloom. Uh, Dark and Frostfang is a traitor. Mm, or we could say he has a trait selfish, has a trait arbitrary, greedy, envious, ruthless. Okay, so we need. Yeah, we need. We need some kind of. Uh, oh, and, and, and then still only he needs to be a traitor. So it's very difficult to seize this artifact, actually. Hmm. We call him for trial? No. Hmm. Okay, so it's almost impossible to get this sword. Okay. Well, let's keep him in the dungeon then. <laughs> Until he's ready to give it up. <laughs> Maybe he wants to trade it for his freedom, you know. Let him rot. We want, we want your sword, man. I think it, it, it's a little bit silly that we can't just seize it. You know, that, that's 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 what uh, what the Lannisters did uh, to uh, to ice, right? Uh, Mr. Hayden has sent the sick offense to torment me once more. I will not tolerate this offense. Or I could say I know exactly what he's trying to do. Uh, provoked. How dare he. Can we imprison him? Still not, eh? Nope. Yeah, we could try to kill him, I guess. <laughs> Succeeded in our plot already, so. Uh, inside my citizen to revolt or kidnap him. Let's, uh, let's, let's kill him, just. Just kill him. Let's murder this man. He has betrayed us for the last time. Anybody want to join me for that? Anyone who is actually pretty good? That's a brave move. Don't know what happened. Here you go, 15 gold. Independence 115%. 
Oh dear. Okay. What about you, King in the North? Okay, you want to have a non-aggression pack? Nice. Okay, what else can we do? Edward Gretian still doesn't offer a non-aggression pack. Why don't you want to have a non-aggression pack, man? Uh, can we watch your honorary title? Paramount Knight? Sure, why not? Have another question pack? No, still not. We've sent you a gift? No, I guess not. Can we put you on the council, maybe? If you're not already on there. Master of Laws. Yeah, you can be my Master of Laws. That's fine. You want to have another question pack now? Oh, he wants to... Uh, we have invited him to a plot. Still not. Okay. Well, I don't want you to be independent. With Edric. And we have uh, Lord Parent Timothy of the North, who doesn't want to be... In non aggression pact. Oh, he does want. Okay, nice. Um, but I also want to kind of tear off Lord Paramount Edric from this this faction. I don't want I don't want him to be independent, man. He's, he's like my strongest vessel. Hmm. So Damon Fossaway, are you already married? You want to come over to my court, man? No, we cannot invite you. you. Must be an adult. Hmm. My uncle, why uh, why do you want to be independent? Why do you want to be an independent, man? Stop backing plot. No, no, well, he's joining my own plot. I've got a question packed. Uh, transfer vassalage. Do we hold any vessels that he, he might like? Not really. Okay, let's just sway him then, I guess. I desperately don't want to get to uh, have this guy in the in the faction for, uh, for your independence revolt. It's getting quite hairy. We are at uh, 87%. 97.3%, I guess. Uh, but I... Yeah, so all these SOC guys, I can imagine why they want to be independent. But my, my uncle? That makes no sense. My wife Mary is pregnant. Great. And we are actually uh, quite productive uh, kids-wise for a gay man. Valina wants to become a Red Priest of Valor. So that I can fully dedicate myself to studying the books of fire and worshipping the Lord of Light. But she is she is the Dragon Rider girl. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Preserve with honor. We got a red priestess who rides a dragon. That is terrifying. She's favored by my lore. <laughs> oh wow, okay. <laughs> this is like the chosen one, this uh, this girl. Okay, well, interesting. She became a red priest. Let's see if she, uh, she, she will conquer anything. Ah, yes. Please kill uh, kill my rival. Maybe she's been trying to slander me. Slander me all, all day. Plan to do good on paper. Change his honor by 10. Okay, let's try again. Excellent work. Okay, <laughs> Lord Permit Edric already removed it. Good work, Lord Permit Edric. Do you want to uh, join an aggression pack with me now? Still not, eh? Can we give you an artifact? The Conquest of Dorne. Sturdy opinion. Is that worth it? Probably not. Oh, maybe it was worth it. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. It's time for you to recognize the full independence of Valentis and other states of the independence faction. Be reasonable and let us not uh, resort to bloodshed. Okay, well. I probably would have said yes if my uncle hadn't been in there. My kinsman. A grand uncle, I guess. Because I really don't want the reach to leave this realm. Will we get a claim on it? If so, we can just reconquer it. Mm. Mm, this is quite a twist, eh? <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I'm going to end it on this cliffhanger. <laughs> I think. No, I, I'm, I'm not going to spoil what I'm going to do. I, I've made up my mind, but I'm not going to spoil it until next episode. <laughs> so you guys are going to have to wait for that one. Uh, in the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Clement Beretti and says goodbye. Uh, we've been playing actually for quite a few years, this episode. But this is definitely a very interesting development. So uh, let's see what Clement uh, decides to do. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.